were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. So all that's concerning him, man. Go ahead and read. Verse 45. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. What scriptures? The ones he just told them of. Oh, people. The law and the prophets and the Psalms. Yes. Those are the scriptures you understand concerning him. The apostles never taught out of Paul's book. Paul didn't taught them teach out of the New Testament. Those were letters sent to the Gentiles. He taught out of these scriptures, man. Those were letters that contained the scriptures. And he sent them. There were correspondence letters sent out to the Gentiles to strengthen them. Because while he was there, he taught them. And he, he, sent them, he, he kept corresponding through letters. And they passed them around. But the letters would contain the scriptures. What Paul's writings in the sense that he wrote it with his hand, yeah. But it was the scriptures. So they were unlearned and unstable, and they twisted them to say something Paul wasn't saying because they didn't understand the law and the Torah. They didn't understand that, 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 that the old law they thought was done away with was just, there was two laws in the Old Testament. It was the covenant, which was the commandments, and it was the Levitical law and of sacrifices that was added to it. The minister sacrifices, which he never wanted. So, I'm not going to go into all that today, but let's go down to Isaiah chapter 8. Because they went back to Jerusalem filled with joy because that thing started risen in their heart also. In Isaiah 8, let's go see the prophet. Start in verse 16. The book of verse 20 from there. The book of Isaiah, chapter 8. Begin at verse 16. Bind up the testimony. Seal the law among my disciples. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Show me one disciple Isaiah had. He had no disciples. This is a future thing. Bind up what? The testimony. Because all the disciples never did was testify of what? The prophets had already said. And, and the prophets never, never, never testified against what Moses was saying and testified to the people. But still what among my disciples? The law, the Torah, people. No, we don't want that. We, want, we, want, we just want Paul's right. Well, if you're going to understand this, you're going to have to understand what the disciples understood. Because he gave them understanding by what? understand the scriptures. So if you're going to understand this same God and this Jesus, you're going to have to have an understanding of the law and the prophets. Yes. You can't just have an understanding of the new and the old, and, and, and the Hebrew books just can't have an understanding of the old. It's got to come out of the old and new. That's why he said the law and the testimony. Verse 20. Go ahead. Verse 20. To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to his word, to this word, it is because there is no light in it. Right, how that light gonna shine up in your heart? How that understanding gonna be there? If you just see the see the law and the testimony, that's the old and the new. Hold your finger and turn to Matthew 13. I had a thought. No, come back to Isaiah. Let me see if I can if I can if I got this scripture right up my head. Matthew 13. Well, Matthew chapter 13, verse 52. Go ahead. Then say he unto them, 
Therefore, every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is a householder, which bringeth forth out of his treasures things that we know. Yes, sir. You got to bring out the new and the old. <laughs> See? You just can't have the old and not the new. You, you can't have the new and not the old. It's the whole book and none of us the book. But you got to understand, it's the prophets, the law of the prophets, that are the scriptures that pertain unto, unto, unto this Jesus. There's another Jesus that people preach that has nothing to do with the, with the, with the, with the, with the one that the prophets preach. But it's precept. We're going to see how it's taught. Isaiah 28, verse 7. We'll start there. So this is why we've got to lay this foundation before we can go anywhere, anywhere with the scriptures. Isaiah 28, verse 7. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28, beginning at verse 7. Go ahead. But they also have erred through wine and through strong drink are out of my but are out of the way. The priest and the prophet have erred through strong drink. They are swallowed up of wine. They are out of the way through strong drink. They err in vision. They stumble in judgment. Yes, sir. See, they, they, they drunk, but not with wine, people, with bad doctrine. Go ahead. Verse 9. Whom shall... No, verse 8. Verse 8. For all tables are full of vomit and filthiness, so that there is no place clean. Because it's all corrupt. They, 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 don't, they don't put a difference between the clean and the unclean. They tell you to just come as you are. They don't teach you about re what true repentance is. <clears throat> repentance is turning, but that's from the first stone. You got to turn back to where you fell from. Repentance ain't stopping smoking or stop drinking or stop cursing. That's just putting on the mind of Messiah. That's a change of mind. But you got to you got to know what you fell from. You fell from the covenant people. You fell from the law. You got to turn back to it. So, go ahead. Verse ten. Verse 9. Verse 9. Whom shall he teach now? Who is he? The Most High. This is how the Most High teaches now. Go ahead. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Didn't we see how he was doing to make understand doctrine? Yes. Go ahead. Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the bread. Yeah, so you got to get weaned off that, off that milk. So you can understand how the hell of the word of God? Go ahead. Verse 10. For the precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Line upon line. Here a little and there a little. Ain't that what we've been doing? Yeah. On the same subject, we're going line upon line. Here a little and there a little. We're just reading the book. Ain't no private interpretation. It ain't coming out of nobody's mind. It's coming out of the mouth of God. And it's the same subject, it's, and everybody is saying the same thing. That's why you know it's truth, because truth doesn't change. Facts change, but truth is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Our law and the testimony, line by line, precept by precept. Here a little and there a little. I like the scribe that takes his treasure of the household out of the old what? And the new. Isaiah 29, verse 9. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29, beginning in verse 9. Go ahead. Whom shall he teach? Uh, not 29, verse 9. Going back to 28. Did we read those already? Yeah. Verse 9. Stay yourself and wonder. Mm -hmm. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunk, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. Well, what are they drunk with? Hey, they said they drank out of the, the cup of the wine and fornication that that woman had, didn't they? That's what, she, that's what all Christianity has been drinking out. Like. Revelation 17, verse 4 and 5. That mystery Babylon, all that Sunday worship, all that Christmas and that Easter stuff, all, all, of, all that going to heaven and all, all you're all you saved already, you're born again. All you got to do is come and just, uh, as you are, 
You ain't got to do no change and you ain't got to keep no commandment. All that comes out of that cup of fornication that the whole nation has been drunken off of, people. All that doctrine. Go ahead. Verse 10. For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and have closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seals, have he come. Go ahead. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot, for it is sealed. How somebody who knows everything gonna learn anything? You see what I'm saying? When your eyes are dull of hearing, I see it, it is dull of hearing. If you think you know it all, you can't learn nothing, so it's gonna stay closed to you. Go ahead and read. Verse 12. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw. And, and so, the one who learned, he cannot open the scriptures. Uh, a, a, a child, the Lord didn't begin his ministry until he was 30 years old. And the first thing he said was, He was learning the scriptures. He taught the Sabbath day that his custom was, you know what I'm He taught the law. Yet you got people rising up now to kids, 10 foot from them, and they preaching already. Oh, look at him. He's a preacher. He's a, and, 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 you, and, you, and you raise up one proselyte to make him more full of two hours. Child of them. I ain't talking like I used to do. So, go ahead and read. Verse 13. What will the Lord say? For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of me. Yeah, what do you mean, the precept? The doctrines and commandments of men. So their heart is far from them. You follow, you follow what man says. The two greatest religion, and I don't like to call God's word a religion, a religion, but you know, say it in that, in that manner, is what God says and what man says. What man says is what Satan put in his mind, and what God's people say is what God says to put in their minds. The true one. Because the two gods, God in this world, are wider than mine. Look at Psalm 119, verse 104. Precept among precepts. Here a little, there a little. I don't know how anybody will argue with this teaching. We're just reading the book. And all the prophets, all the apostles, all we're going to show you exactly what Paul was doing. Everybody's saying the same thing. Even the old, the old Jesus is saying the same thing. Not the old Jesus. The other Jesus ain't saying it. If you ain't doing what the book says, you serve another Jesus. Paul well, told you, if you're any man come preach another Jesus, or another gospel. See, the reason this sounds so strange, you know, because you never heard the true gospel. Yes. Isaiah 29, verse, I say, Psalms 119, verse 104. The book of Psalms 119, verse, beginning at verse 104. Go ahead. Through that precept, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Whoa. Ain't that what it's saying? Now I know some Arabic language, I know some, some Greek, and I use it as a tool. But I, I, I came out of the ministry that, that basically taught me because they knew all this Arabic and this Greek and didn't understand this, how the Lord teaches doctrine. You come up with a whole different message. Because I did it. I sat there and studied Arabic, Greek, Hebrew, for years, years, and still couldn't see the kingdom of God. Still couldn't see what was happening because I wasn't taught the law of the prophets. Through your through his precepts, line by line, here with them, we get the understanding. Look at verse 142 in the Psalms, 119 Psalms. Verse 142. 
Thy righteousness is the everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Whoa! Wait a minute. Uh -huh. The Torah is true. What? See, it's everlasting righteousness. So you, so you, not, you're not skillful in the word of righteousness, man. I was receiving meekness, then grafted word, which is able to save your soul. That's every word that proceeds by the mouth of God. But be you doers and not hearers only, deceiving your own self, man. Old oh, man. It ain't about you. It's about eternal life. And you, you, you got to quit teaching. I had to sit down for 15 years. I didn't want my degree in theology. Oh, my doctor learned all my early, early with, 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 with the great ministries that I was with, part of. I had to give it all up to relearn. But if you're not willing to do that, but you want to hold on to your people and hold on to your doctrine and hold on to your church dogma, then you're, going to, you, you're not permitted to go on with God. But if you just want to really find your Lord, you got to do it according to His Word. Where we at, brother? John 17. Gospel of John, verse 17. Verse 17. But he said, Thy law is truth. That was the testimony of the prophets. Because the law and the word is the same thing, man. The Torah. The Torah is the word of God, people. It contains the commandments and the laws and the statutes and judgments. The Gospel of John, chapter 17, verse 17. Go ahead. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is true. See what he testified of? It didn't, oh, what he said, yes, he is saying the law. It's the Torah, man. Thy word. What word? Ain't no other word around but the, but the scriptures. Paul even came on the scene. Stop it. Grab your mind. That's an idol in your head. And you take it back there, it ain't going to accept it. You got to go to it is written. That's Satan talking to you. You got to discern good and evil, man. John chapter 5, verse 37. This is the testimony of the Lord. He testified of the prophets. John 5. Whom you called to you, but he told you why calls God be Lord, Lord, and do it. Not the things but you have to If that man do the doctrine, then he'll know his will. Verse 37. Go ahead. The gospel, of Saint, the gospel of John, chapter 5, verse 37. And the Father himself, which have sent me, hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. Right. See, because at any time, at any time. Because that was Messiah back then before.